Allah saying all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakhar Kadash, Barakatha, uh, double honor to the Apostle of Great Millstone, Shalom to the Akim out there, the teaching word of our Heavenly Father and our Lord and Savior, Chief of Sincerity. Alright, uh, it's the brother Amar, uh, coming back at you with another video. Um, you know, as I said, fuck it, man, y'all got a lunch break, might as well. Uh, you know, because what, what better, uh, what's better than doing this work, man? Alright, but, um, uh, real quick, I just want to get into this chapter uh, about Job. Alright, now Job was, uh, pretty much catching hell. Alright, even, you know, when you read the story of Job, all the brothers know, man, like, Job was catching hell, like, pretty much throughout his whole life, man. Alright, and as the brothers say, man, uh, we're all, we're spiritual Job's, man. Alright, the brothers that's in the truth, that's, that's sincere, we're, we're spiritual Job's. Alright, catch hell non-stop, you know what I mean? Occasionally, the most high, you know, by Shemar Shah, lit up on you. But for the most part, it's, you know, day in, day out, catching hell. But um, I just want to get into the chapter uh, of, of the book of Job, the seventh chapter. And, uh, you know, I just want to go through some uh, verses, a couple highlighted verses or whatever. So uh, this is Job chapter 7, verse uh, 3. It says, so am, I a, so am I made to possess months of vanity, and wearisome nights are appointed to me, man. Yeah, man, it's a, and why is, why is weary some nice uh, appointed unto us, man? Because of, uh, <laughs> because of this, mainly because of the, the, the truth, man. All right, and I'm going to get this verse right here. I mean, this chapter right, Salakia, not this chapter. I'm going to get this scripture right here to back up what I was saying. Because Job was saying his, his, his nights was, was wearisome, right? This is Ecclesiastes chapter, uh, also known as uh, Ecclesiasticus Salakia, also known as Sirach. They say, a cheerful kindness is a token of a heart that is in prosperity. And say, in the finding out of parables is a wearisome labor of the mind. So that's 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 one of the main reasons why our um, our life, our, our nights are spent uh, are, are are wearisome, man. All right, because of you know because of this ministry, man. All right, when you in this truth, man, you have to dedicate your whole time and effort to the truth. All right, and um, that right there, all right, uh, just you know, can be a burden for the most part. But even though brothers love it, all right, but. Like I said, it can be burdensome, man. All right, and uh, just you know, studying, you know, uh, and on top of studying, you gotta you know find out you know little routine for yourself when you're working, you know, uh, trying to fellowship with brothers, trying to you know handle you know things pertaining to this world, quote unquote. All right, so I read, I read this back. It says, "So am I." Uh, Job seven verse three says, "So am I made to possess months of vanity and wearisome nights are appointed to me." All right, like I said, just like that that scripture we read in Sirach thirteen twenty three. I mean, 1326, man. All right. When you the truth, man, it's going to be weird some nights, man. All right. Like them rappers say, uh, long, sh uh, short days, long nights. All right. Um, I say, when I lie down, I say, when shall I arise and the night be gone? They say, I am full of tossing to and fro until the drawing of the day, man. And that's, that's, Joel was even catching hell when he went to sleep, man. All right. So that, and that, and that, and that reminds me of myself, man, because I know. I don't get the best sleep, man. Uh, I'm pretty sure most brothers, or not some of the brothers, that uh, they have a, uh, you know, somewhat they can relate to that. All right, what Joe was saying, but I know I can relate to that uh, 100%, man. Most of the time, I, I don't even get a good good night's sleep, man. All right, for one, because I work, you know, I work more than one job, and uh, two, you know, what I mean, it's just, um, you know, it's not sufficient of sleep, it's just a sufficient amount of sleep. All right, but uh, let me jump down. This is Job chapter uh, seven verse eleven. It say therefore I will not refrain my mouth. I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. I will complain in the bitterness of my soul, man. And that's and that's and that's one of the main reasons why we complain in the bitterness of our soul, man. Because of you know you you them weary some nights, man. All right, catching so much fucking hell. All right, you know you just some days, man. You know you just don't really know um, you know uh, what to do. All right, uh, jumping down to verse thirteen. It says, uh, when I say my bed shall comfort me, my couch shall ease my complaint, then thou scares me with dreams and terror and terrifies me through visions, man. So Job was saying, even, you know, when you try to get some sleep, you know what I mean? You try to, uh, you know, you try to, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? You know, um, um, you, you know, try to, you know, get some comfort, all right, or be at ease. The Lord, uh, Job was saying, the Lord even, you know, even mess with him on that note, man, all right? And like I said, man, hey, man, you know, count it all uh, blessings, man, for the, 
you know, like for the brother, man, because, hey, man, we just glad the most out, you know, paying, it, paying us attention, man. So, you know, call all you and be all about your mouth shot, man. Uh, verse 15, it say, so that my soul chooses strangling and death rather than my life. I loathed it. Uh, that mean, and look at the word loathe, I mean, it means hate. So he said, I hate it. I would not live always. Let me alone for my days of vanity. He says, what is man that thou shouldest magnify him? And that thou should set thy heart upon him, man. And so Joel was saying, "What is man, man? That you like, cause you know, some days, man, you, you look at the, you know, all the creations of, of the heavenly Father, and uh, you know, it got to make you wonder, man. Like, why is the heavenly Father mind set on on, on men, all right? In particular, uh, uh, the Israelite man, all right. Um, this is uh, uh, and the reason why is because mainly uh." It's mainly because of, uh, uh, you know, what he installed into us, man. All right, which is, which was his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. All right, and he chose us to be his peculiar people, man. All right, it's much more to us, man, than uh, like the elders in Dallas say, man, than 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 a nigga dribbling the ball and you know catching the football and, and rapping. All right, you, you read about the things that our forefathers did; it was amazing, man. I, I read them every time, and I'm a, I'm amazed, man. So the reason why the Lord. Uh, uh, eyes upon man is because of the greatness that he has installed into him man it's just you have to magnify it man all right you have to, uh, you have to manifest it slark it um let me see uh uh jumping down to 18 and say and that thou shouldest visit him every morning and try him every moment i said how long would thou not depart from me let i say nor let me alone till I say, nor let me alone till I till I swallow down my spittle. I have sinned. What shall I do unto thee, O thou, O thou perverse preserver of men? Why has why has why has thou set me as a mark against thee, so that I am a burden to myself, man? All right, um, yeah, man. So that was pretty much the point, man. I just wanted to uh, you know highlight a few verses in Job, the seventh chapter, which this is a beautiful chapter, by the way. And I was spiritual. I was actually trying to find like these verses about how Joe was uh, complaining the bitterness of the soul. He, you know, tried to go to sleep and stuff like that. Cause, like I said, man, even even when brothers try to go to sleep, man, it's, it's you know just it's just nonstop hell, man. Terrible fucking nightmares. You know what I mean? You wake it, you wrestling in and out of sleep, tossing to and fro, like Joe was saying. But you know, nevertheless, man, you know, we pray the spirit. How about you? Shot stays with us, and uh, you know. Uh, as a matter of fact, we pray the Lord give us more of His Spirit, uh, an increase like like Elisha said when Elijah died, man. Uh, a double double fold, man. All right, a double portion. All right, that's what that was, those were His words. But um, nevertheless, man, I pray it was edifying. With that, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Bakar Kadash, Barakatah. Double honors to the Apostle and Elders, Great Millstone, and uh, you know, Shalom to the Akim out there, man. That's teaching the word of Heavenly Father. And our Lord and Savior, true sincerity, man. All right, and uh, a Bible ball. That I'm gonna say, Shalom.